On this episode, we teach you how to win a bidding war. Hey everybody, my name is Isam Aziz. I'm a realtor in Nashville, Tennessee, and this is episode eight of Welcome Home Nashville. Today we're gonna to talk about one way that you can win in a bidding war. So in Nashville, over the last year at least, chances are if a property is in a location that a lot of people wanna be in and it has been priced properly, there will be multiple offers in on that property. So what is one way that you can win in a bidding war? So one way is to write a letter. I know that this sounds silly, but hear me out. Buying a home is an emotional time for both the buyer and the seller. It's also the largest purchase that anybody usually makes in their lifetime. I know from my own personal experience, I remember every house that I lived in. At 124 Sauna Drive, the first house that I lived in, my brother tried to murder me and also we sat out in the rain in our raincoats. In the second house that we lived in, uh, we got into a few fights. Um, I remember getting stunned by a bee right here and I broke a lot of my mom's stuff in that house. So, sorry mom. And the next house we lived in was the house that I became an adult in and that was where my parents currently live but I still have a lot of memories even when I go back and visit them. So my point is, is that buying the home is an emotional time and making that emotional connection with the seller could sway the seller into picking your offer. If they have two different offers and they're similar as far as money goes, um, they might pick the offer that allows them to see that a family that is very similar to his or hers will be moving in and they'll be getting along with the neighbors and they'd be a right fit. Sometimes money isn't everything. I mean, sometimes it is everything, but if you can make an emotional connection with the seller, with that letter, why not try it out and hopefully you win in that bidding war. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Thank you guys. Have a great week. Have a great short week. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Drive safe if you're driving somewhere. Enjoy family time and eat a lot. Thank you guys. Have a great week. We'll see you next week.